we move to very important area now. So now we we covered what needs to be done. So uh, so your uh, work based structure is what needs to be done, and now we need to understand when things can be done. So or to schedule to schedule our work, right? So what is the project schedule? So in the project management, so we need we have a list of um, of milestones and activities that have their own start and end date some of these activities are um, are uh, dependent on each other we have dependencies some you cannot build a, fun, uh, a roof for the house before you build fundaments right so even if we can build independently uh, a roof and uh, and the fundaments at the same time this will not make sense so we need to wait for a uh, fundaments of the house and walls in order to build to build uh a roof of the house and um, and based on uh, based on many parameters we actually create our schedule we create our schedule based on a, a resource allocation so how many people we have are they available so maybe we can start to work today but what if our uh, engineer is available only from monday right it's based on budget. Can we afford one person so to, for, to, uh, to work for longer time or we can afford two to, to work um, shorter amount of time? What are dependencies? We spoke about fundaments and, and, and the roof uh, when, when building a house. We depend on a scheduled events. So for example, imagine if you need to um, change some infrastructure in, uh, in some ev event venue or in arena and you have scheduled five events um, you cannot work and switch off the current in the moment when there is some concept right so uh, those are uh, those are important uh, dependencies and then we have maintenance windows so for example uh, production line can say i can stop my production only on saturday two in the morning right so you need to you need to um, be very careful when things can can be done so this whole area of scheduling is of course very very wide but it is directly leaned onto work by down structure on what we covered previously and let's see how let's see how and let's give one uh, maybe funny example but i think that we all can understand it uh, let's let's imagine that we we create a, a homemade bread and uh, let's take it that this is a project right so we we create a project out of it um, this is probably how I started to make home, <laughs> homemade breads. So first of all, first area is we need to buy ingredients. Then we need to make a dough. Then we need to uh, bake the bread, right? And then uh, in buy ingredients, we need to buy flour, yeast, uh, sugar, and salt. Then in when we are making a dough, we need to uh, uh, mix yeast and sugar with the warm water to grow. We, uh, we make a dough with the rest of the flour and so on and so on. Uh, in in the baking of the bread, we need to set up the oven. We need to uh, put the dough into into the hot oven, and and so on. So with what we have done, we have a project, <laughs> good recipe. <laughs> exactly, it's actually uh, based on experience. <laughs> so, um, so we are making a bread, and we are spreading this into activities in manageable, actionable it it items. And then we need to, then we need to um, uh, put this into into time frames so first we need to buy ingredients right we cannot start with uh, with the making bread without ingredients then we have we can only then when we buy ingredients mix yeast and sugar for example then only then when we do this we we make a dough with the rest of the flour and then only then we can we can um we can set up the oven and so on and only then we can perform the next activity when the previous one is is completed so all of these activities if you put them together you can you can complete them into 30 minutes but because of these dependencies that we have the overall project can last let's say from 9 uh, a.m to 6 uh, 4 p.m depending how much you want to wait for the dough to grow and how many times to remade it so uh, so work better and structure gives us excellent information what needs to be done but only with schedule and only with careful uh, analysis we we can have uh, information for how long these these things will take place and then 
somewhere in the project you can have your important uh, milestones moments in time when you can say i bought all ingredients so yellow area is completed i made the dough so uh, green areas are uh, are completed and 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 so on so this is how you map your wall runner structure to the schedule um, <laughs> now we have some very um uh, professional uh, notes from from Yannick. Tell me, is this mapping clear? You can you can write. Can you write clear or not clear? Yep, clear, clear. Okay, excellent, excellent. So uh, some of the tooling that that I can uh, clear as day. Good, thank you. <laughs> so some of the tooling that uh, I can recommend to you is is xmind as as you already know um ms project what is one of the best uh, professional toolings that that you can you can have microsoft excel there is huge amount of uh templates there project libre and so on so choose uh choose your own tool and your own uh accord um, um i mean adjust it to your own personal preference 